In the previous video, we discussed how you should write emails that are five sentences or less. However, there are situations when you have to write longer emails, such as when you're highlighting decisions made in an important meeting or you're summarizing an important decision with a customer. In this video, we'll go over how to write longer emails by breaking them into two parts. So let's talk about what those two parts entail. The first is a quick summary part and the second is a details part. And both those parts should be listed as subheadings in the body of your email message. And here's what goes into part one, the quick summary. So label the first part of your email with a quick summary subheading. And this quick summary section should be five sentences or less. So the tips in the previous lesson do apply here. And the section should summarize the main points of your long email and state all actions so that they're not buried in your email message. And if there are no actions needed, then do state that in this section as well. And think of this quick summary section as an executive summary of a long report, an at-a-glance paragraph that gives people the gist of what your message is about if they don't have the time to read the whole thing. Right? So give them what they need from a quick summary perspective, where if they're very busy, they can only focus on that part. The second part is the details section and label this part of your email with either details, background or supporting information subheading, whatever you're more comfortable with. And this is where you write out all the additional information that supports your previous summary. Now don't shy away from repeating information that was in the quick summary section. In fact, if you do that, you'll help reinforce those points again. And really the objective of this section is to add more color or detail to your summary section. So here's an example of an email that's broken into two parts. It's an email that's going out to a team and the subject is update and actions after meeting with a customer today. It states team, I had a meeting with a customer today. Here's what happened. And then you've got a quick summary section, which states Mike is pleased with our progress. Here are the next steps. Christine, please email Mike the proposal by the evening of Tuesday, July 12th at the latest. Steve, please set up a meeting with Mike, Christine, you, Michelle, and I for the week of the, July 18th to go over the proposal. You can work with Mike's assistant, Sarah, to coordinate schedules. And if you notice here, what we did is that in this quick summary section, we kept it at five sentences or less, and we were very pointed with what those actions are that we need the team to do. And then in the detailed section, we add a lot more color to what additional information we need to kind of support that summary. So in the details here we said, I met with Mike Hernandez, the, the new VP of Business Technology Services, blah, 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 talked about the difficulties we face, he's very understanding, he's pleased with the fact that we gave his company the attention it deserves and we didn't wait for the customer support team to escalate. And then here we re kind of state or reinforce the, the actions and say for next steps, he would like to see the quote by Wednesday morning. So Christine, please make sure you email him the proposal by the evening of July 12th uh, Tuesday, July 12th. If you notice, that's the same sort of date that we have here. So we're kind of reinforcing it. And then we're asking for an, or a meeting or what have you and work with the assistant Sarah and so on and so forth. So again, this section here with the details kind of reinforces what's in the summary. And it makes it pleasing on the eyes to kind of see a section here where if people don't have a lot of time, they honestly can just forget everything that's below um, the the uh, the summary and just focus on this section over here and kind of be done with it if that's what they want to focus on. All right, so let's wrap up with a quick summary. Break long emails into two parts, a quick summary section and a detail section. The quick summary section should be five sentences or less. And the detail section should list out any additional information. Thanks for watching and in the next video we'll talk about how to make your emails scannable.